In this episode, we're talking about, well, we're not talking about the stuff we're supposed to be doing because that kind of got pushed aside by the stuff that we wanted to do. And then all that kind of got pushed aside by the stuff we didn't plan on doing. We're talking about the Maker Fair. That's right, East Coast Orlando Maker Fair. This is the first time I've been to it and it was pretty cool. Don't be hating. There was a lot of people that turned out, but the only thing different about this time is it was a chance for me to get out locally, find out what my resources are, who's out in the community, what they're doing, and what kind of cool stuff they're making. They had four different buildings and I was kind of stuck in one because this year's the first year I actually had a booth and I was there sharing the ultimate handheld arcade process, show people how I make it, start to finish, gave people an idea and understanding of what I do. Also shared the website and all that stuff, but I wasn't really there to sell stuff. The stuff I would needed to do was make all of those kits that everyone bought from the website. I wanna say thank you first and foremost to all the subscribers that purchased kits from the website and those did get all completed and shipped out. But that's why the channel's been quiet is because when I'm manufacturing stuff, I'm not making videos. And unless you wanna see that stuff, and if you do, then let me know. I'm happy to share this redundant work with you. But it is about you know process optimization and improving my ability to produce those things for you. But in the meantime, I've also got some other cool projects in the works. Got a new handheld, a joy console. Whoa, way too much, way too much information. Slow down, slow down. Just sit down, take a breath, and talk about the Maker Fair. <laughs> Maker Fair. So there's lots of cool stuff there. I got to talk to a lot of cool people. Had a few people come out that were subscribers to the channel, say hi. Hi, David. Thank you for doing that. It's nice to put a name to a face. Um, in addition to that, I met a lot of really interesting people, a lot of professionals and people in the industry and makers alike. Um, there was a huge turnout. It seemed like there was way more people than I ever saw at SoCal Maker Fair. And Saturday, particularly, it was just non-stop talking. But it was a lot of fun. On the downside, I didn't really get away from my booth very much. I have a little bit of video. I took the opportunity when it was slow to walk around and see some of the other booths and attractions. There was a lot of 3D printing, a lot of metal work, saw some leather work, lots of cosplay, battle bots, drone races, the typical. Things went great. It was a great time, good turnout, met a lot of neat people, wasted the whole weekend, didn't get anything done. Um, but that aside, you know, I wanted to give something away at the event and I couldn't really put my finger on what day, what time, how to make it all work and I thought, you know, subscribers are the ones that really help make this channel worth doing. I'm gonna make this offer and give this raffle to you guys. So what I got here, what do I have here? Flexible shaft grinder set. Looks like, like a one and three quarter horsepower motor and a 55 piece bit set. And then we're also get thrown in this 228 piece tool accessory kit for it. So one of you guys are gonna win this. You definitely have to be a subscriber to the channel. You gotta put a comment below, explain what you're gonna use it for, and we'll pick one of those guys by random. Anyway, stay safe, have fun, see you next time, and we'll announce the winner. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also allow me to bring better content. Also check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there too. See ya.